All right, we are going to go over the unlimited egg voucher steps uh, for Polk Rogue. It's very easy to do. I am currently using Google Chrome. You can use Firefox, Opera, Edge, whichever you prefer. And with that said, let's go ahead and begin. But one quick note, this could get you banned from leaderboards. I would make a separate account. Uh, in order to do this, but if leaderboards isn't something that you care about, go ahead and use this on your main, but just do this at your own risk. This is a secondary account for me. I've already done it once before just to make sure that it's still working, all that good stuff, but this is what you do. First, go to the menu, go to the egg gotcha, and have this up and ready to go. Again, as you can see, I've already done it. Um, Next, you want to do, you want to click on the right mouse button, go to inspect, go to sources, go to assets, click on the very first index. Again, I've already done this, so it's going to put me back to where I was, but it should look like this for you. Next, do control find, or sorry, I always do that. Sorry, it's control F on your keyboard to bring up the find menu. You're going to search for this which is this.scene.gamedata.voucher. And once you put that in, then go and copy this in to where it says switch parentheses T parentheses bracket, and it'll take you here. It's not gonna have that dash um, selected right off the bat, but you do wanna have that selected for the next step. And then you're gonna go back into the Poke Rogue game, click any arrow key on your keyboard so that it brings up this pause on breakpoint. And once that's done, we are going to look for uh, local and then look for where it says this. And it's gonna have a valley next to it. For me, it says C6. For you, it might be something different. Go ahead and do the drop down. And next you wanna look for scene, which is right here. Then you're going to go to game data, which is right here. And then you're going to go to voucher counts, which is here. Now, I already have my values changed. I'm going to do that again to where I'm just going to have 999 9, eggs for each one, just to show that this actually works like so. And once you have that done, go ahead and click the X button and go back to your game, go back to the main menu. Your arrow keys might start being stupid. That's fine. To fix it, just remember, click the arrow key that you pressed originally, and that will basically stop it. And next, go back into your egg gotcha. And ta-da, everything has been changed. And there it is. If you guys have any questions, please leave a comment down below. If this helped you in any way, please leave me a like. That will help me out tremendously. And yeah, uh, if you guys need assistance with other web browsers, I can definitely assist you on that. Make a video, do all that fun jazz. Uh, we can probably talk in Discord if you need further assistance so that we can do like a video screen share and whatnot in my Discord. Um, but yeah, that is it. You all take care and enjoy hatching that z uh the legendary eggs the, i i this is probably the best time to do it honestly anyways i'm babbling bye bye